What's up, everybody, and welcome to part two of the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. Uh, we just finished part one, which is the uh, which was the trial, which was the adventures into the Pokemon Center, uh, the City Hall, as well as adventuring to Alola region in general. Um, now we're going to be getting into it right away. Uh, basically, we just met the professor, and we are right outside the Pokemon Center, and he's basically congratulating us. He's going to give us the Ride Pager, which allows us to ride Pokemon now in Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, in the Alola region, and he's also going to give us a Tauros, which is going to be registered into our Ride Pager. Now, we don't actually get to use these Pokemon, and they're not actually our Pokemon, but we get to call upon them through the Ride Pager in order to use them. So, I'm basically going to adventure through this town see what there is to see, uh, make sure we've completed everything, and as you guys can see on the um, mini screen, I'm showing you guys what this Rotom does. Again, in the last episode, or the first episode, I said it's mainly for advertisements. It shows you where you can get Pokemon Sun and Moon and also a quick little uh, demo, and pretty much the Rotom does move, so it's pretty cool. It's a little cool, unique, random feature. I'm going to hop on the Tauros ASAP Rocky, and we're going to go all the way down to the very bottom of this little island here. If you hold down B, uh, the Tauros does charge, which allows you to break boulders in your path. So we're going to be going all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to work our way all the way back up. And make sure we adventure and see everything, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of unique things uh, within the demo as well. So we got the ferry terminal here. We're going to go ahead and adventure into the ferry terminal. We'll see and talk to a couple people here. Uh, starting off with this dude, pretty much just talks. A lot of these people are just random people that talk. Uh, they don't really do much, but there is a couple of people that you really need to pay attention to. And uh, one of them is in this building here. This lady right here, she says, I have to set sail in 24 days. Uh, if you go, if, whenever you started the Pokemon demo, 24 days from then, she, or 25 days from then, but if you keep talking to her, go less and less, 24 days from then, she will give you a unique item, which no one knows what it is yet. So no matter what day or what time you started the demo, uh, you will um, see her, and she'll give you a time frame on when to come back to her. So make sure you go there, and you'll be given an item that you can take to um, your official Pokemon Sun or Moon video game. So, we're just talking to people again. We're going to be making our way through this whole entire city. Make sure we see and witness everything. There's a lot of these gates around, which I just uh, walked through. Uh, it takes me to the other side. It's pretty much a patch of grass area that takes us to the next street above, which I will uh, reminisce with you guys once we get there. I just do not want to walk through patches of grass right now. Uh, we do got a police station here with a random guy standing right outside of it, and he, they don't really do too much, but we're going to go ahead and walk and see what's in this police station. One of these guys is just sitting here chilling and killing, so we're going to be making our way back out of the police station, and again, we're just going to be walking through this whole entire city. So we got another one of those uh, fences here, so we're going to go ahead and click on it. Again, it just takes us to another patch of grass, and there's really not much to do on uh, that little area at all. Uh, we're going to make our way a little bit north here. we got a random plot of land, which nothing going on here. But there is a Machamp in the middle, so I thought I'd give him a little bit of a, a what's up, broski. So we got this little dude out here. He like him crispy and fluffy. I don't really like uh, well, I like my things crispy. Uh, sometimes crispy's not so well. Uh, there's something wrong with it if it's crispy, depending on what we're talking about. What are we talking about, Itachi? I don't even know myself. So we're talking to these ladies inside some like little crispy, fluffy pastry I don't even know place, but there's a course of land here. That's cool. That's cool. So we're going to be making our way out of there. There's nothing too fancy going on there at all. So uh, we can't really do anything at those buildings down there. But we got this guy to talk to. Uh, he basically just welcomed us, and that's outside of the city hall. There's not too much we can do there. Again, this is the city hall of this town. And we're going to continue making our way. Ooh, there's this little person. Oh, I meet up with a guy that helped me out. I sprained my ankle. Five days away. So in five days, I'm going to be able to get something from this guy. Or it's a female. Sorry, my bad. So in five days, I get to go back to her and get some unique item that I get to send to my Pokemon Sun and Moon game. So make sure you talk to that person as well. So far, there's two unique persons that you really need to pay attention to. One was down by the ferry. And this one as well has a celebration of Pikachu within 12 days. So hey, that's three people that are going to give you a special item that you can send to your Pokemon Sun and Moon. Again, one by the ferry way down south. You got the Pikachu guy in the city hall. And you've got the person that is just outside towards the left of the city hall, which was just some female with a big, huge, white 
hat on. And uh, those are three people that are going to give you something that you can send over to your official game. So nothing else going on in the city hall. We're going to go ahead and make our way out of here. Again, there's three people that you really need to keep your eye focused on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and adventure into this gate. But again, I do not want to fight too many Pokemon right now because we're going to be getting into that later. Uh, this person is just here to block you from this building. I'm assuming that building goes out to a different route, so I'm not too sure. But again, it's just there as a placeholder to block you from going there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk to everybody. Make sure we're not missing a thing at all. And, uh, yeah, there's not too much going up up here, except we're going to be going back to that route in a little bit in another episode of this demo. So, ooh, there's another gate right here, so let's go ahead and check it out. I've never adventured into this gate before, so I'm actually going to go ahead and see if there's anything here. And there isn't, so that's cool. Uh, it's just another patch of grassy gate area. Uh, make sure I don't fight anything. Again, I'm trying my best not to fight anything right now. I just want to make sure I talk to everybody. This guy as well. If you come see this guy tomorrow, not today, not the day after tomorrow, but tomorrow you'll be given an item from that guy as well. So now there's four people that you really need to talk to. So now we're in the Pokemon Center. And here's what I was talking about earlier about the Pokemon Center and then the other video in the first video of the po uh, Sun and Moon demo. Look at that screen behind uh, Nurse Joy. It's so cool to actually see that now, and I really love that. So, we're talking to this guy, and this guy says they're out of stock. And are you joking, bro? If you look right behind the guy, he's in stock. Trust me, son. Goddamn, bro. Liars after liars. So, there also is, on in a month, I will be able to uh, go to this cafe and they actually, I get to finally eat with the uh, buddy of mine. So within a month, you get to eat and your buddy gives you an item there as well or something. So there's five unique people that you need to talk to at different days. So make sure if you have, if you forgot already where they were, go ahead and replay this video and uh, check them out because there's five unique people that you need to go to. And I will go ahead and let you know again right now because we're just adventuring into some random grass right here. So... The five people... Ooh, there's another gate. Ah, oh, never mind. There's some cool gatesness going on here. So the five people were the fairy lady, uh, the fairy building super down south. Um, there was the guy with the Pikachu in the city hall. There was the guy right outside the Pokemon Center. There was the lady with the big, huge hat uh, just outside left of the city hall. And there is your buddy or your rival with inside the uh, Pokemon Center. So there's five people that you need to talk to at specific times during the demo, and they will give you a special item that you can send to your um, official, again, Pokemon Sun and Moon game once you get that on November 18th. So we did end up fighting a wild Pokemon here, and I wasn't too happy about that. I wasn't too thrilled, especially because I did all of that walking through these gates, and there was nothing except patches of grass. But it's cool that we get to adventure more into uh, certain areas within this game. So, back to the main street. We are going to continue making our way down. There's really not much going on here at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to this person. Again, it's just a placeholder blocking us from going into that building. And this person as well. Another placeholder blocking us going into that building. I'm assuming the buildings aren't either... Uh, finished yet or they just really don't want us going in there and might be using for something else um, so there was another uh, gate and I did adventure through but it's just another patch of grass so we're gonna be getting out of that and uh, making our way a little bit north of that there's a sign here alright so it's a tourist attraction area so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy really quickly first he just gives us some details on the Alola region but we can go ahead and adventure into this building uh, looks like a little mini shop it's a shop of some sorts but uh both of these two NPCs don't do too much, so we're going to go ahead and make our way out. There's actually another NPC here, and she doesn't do anything either. So we're going to go ahead and make our way out. Again, there's still five NPCs that you really need to keep your eyes out for uh, when you are playing the demo version. So we got this lady. I've never seen her before, but the reason being is I never came here after doing a trial uh, when I first played this. I am not going to... Um, go to the place that she wants me to go to right now because I, I know there's not that much left to do there's these slow pokes blocking this road and we cannot go by them even though yes my avatar can fit through these slow pokes easily or just jump over them but sadly the game does not want us to go through that far so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this lady and again um, that was pretty much it for this whole entire city 
So there's one more thing that we got to do in the city, and let's talk to this lady, and she's going to go ahead and take us out to some extra route, which we are finally going to be able to use our Tauros and see the Tauros in action. Now, the Tauros in action, uh, all we got to do is hold down B uh, while we're moving, and it'll be going super duper quick, and it's going to be using its horns and everything, blasting through all the rocks and rubble. Uh, so it's going to be dashing all the way to the top, all the way to the end, and, um, yeah, we'll get a cool, unique item at the end as well. So, I mean, it's not unique, but it's just it's, it's a cool item that we get to send to our main version. So, again, all I'm doing is holding down B, and my Tauros is just going ham. And there's some old dude, old mysterious dude over here hiding behind the rocks. Really, what is he creeping on, dude? What is he creeping on? Look at this guy. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. So, this was pretty much it. For the town itself, uh, we've gotten a, another item, which is three Stardust that we get to send to our full version of the game. And there were five unique NPCs that you need to look out for with specific time frames where you need to meet them. And they will give you a unique item as well. So that was it. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo, where we are going to go ahead and... Um, adventure into the route that we were in previously where we did our first trial and there's a couple of cool and fun things that we get to do there and a couple of other items that we get to collect uh, as well from there so we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the main city and adventure into that route as soon as possible so she's going to teleport us back and i'm not too sure what that route was that we just came from but uh we're going to go ahead and uh use our turtles full speed dashing about all the way to this next uh, route. Again, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by Further Win Itachi, and I'll catch you guys on the other side.